So what is happening with the shoulder blades when we lift our arms overhead? And how can we do this more effectively? Let's take a closer look at what is going on when we do a handstand with shoulder joints. Because it is a confusing anatomical movement for all of us. Hi everyone! Welcome to another video. My name is Yasko. In this video, we will take a closer look at what your shoulder blades are doing, how it moves, which muscles are working, and how you can practice handstand or advanced arm balance postures. The principle is all the same. The goal is to stabilize the shoulders and still keep the mobilization of the shoulder joints. Let's get started! Scapular mobility. Many muscles play a role in stabilizing and mobilizing the scapula. The two key muscles of scapular stability are the rhomboids and the serratus anterior. The rhomboids pull the scapula towards the spine, which means retraction, while the serratus anterior pulls the scapula away from the spine around the rib cage, and that is protraction. Protraction is sliding scapula towards the lower rib cage by rounding up a back. Moving the scapula each other towards the midline of your spine is retraction. As you can see, I keep the neck nice and long to create a space and avoid weird tension in neck area. We don't hike it up, just soften your neck muscle and create a space. Now I switch the movement in diagonal rotation. This feels so good, especially if you have stiff shoulders. Just try it out. You might hear a cracking sound. The reason why the scapular mobility is so important is as soon as you can control scapular movement well, you can press into handstand, you can hold the balance longer in handstand, and you can challenge different shapes and transitions. That is what we all dream of. Hey guys! Get my free press handstand guide with a little surprise. Click the link down below in the description. The free guide is very useful to get started with press handstand training and check what you should aim for and which focus in your training. So now we have nicely warmed up scapula and shoulder joints. We move the scapulas quick and dynamic. Graduate load of movements feels always good for handstand practice, right? Through this scapular warm-up, we can also prepare the wrists, shoulder joints for the handstand practice. If you lift your arms overhead, the shoulders are flexed and elevated. We call this shoulder flexion and elevation. If we rotate our shoulders externally, what happens here is that the lower arms also rotate outwardly. And as you can see, the palms are facing up because it's a natural movement. You rotate the upper arms to rotate the shoulders externally and the palms flip. What we here need to do though for a handstand is we need to place our palms on the floor. So the palms need to be turned facing down. Let's summarize everything. When we do a handstand, scapula needs to make a rotation and move a little bit apart to lift your arms overhead. Soften the muscle in the neck and take the inner border of your shoulder blades down and the outer borders up. Shoulder external rotation and elevation is the action of lifting arms overhead. When you don't rotate your shoulders outward, you cannot raise your arms properly. So this is the basics what is happening in the shoulder joints. I hope this video can help you a bit to understand what is going on in the shoulders when you go upside down and you can adapt it in your practice. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next week. Enjoy your practice!